What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today, I'm gonna to be doing an open cut with this cookie cutter here. Here's the colors we're gonna be using. I have a dioxazine purple, titanium white, violet. We have kind of an aqua marine blue green, and then a cerulean blue. Now the base for this, I feel like I wanted to do a black. So this is the black I'll be using. It's just an onyx black. And with that, let's just get into painting. It's been too long since I've poured anything. How's everybody doing this wonderful day? For those astute viewers, you might've noticed that I got like a nice little bruise on my nose here. And I was in a car accident yesterday. <laughs> Wasn't that bad, nothing that serious. Nobody was uh, seriously injured. Dude hit me from the back. He couldn't stop in time. I don't know what was going on, if he was texting and driving or what. But his truck is totaled, and my truck is pretty jacked up. But we're going to get it fixed. I already got the insurance stuff working. So with that, how is everybody doing this wonderful day? It is a kind of another gloomy day in Detroit, and it seems to be the trend. Here recently, it's been kind of rainy, stormy. Yesterday was a beautiful day. So I spent the weekend in Columbus, Ohio. Went out and had a couple drinks. Went to a couple of the, the little nightlife places they got there. It was a fantastic time. Spent the weekend with an amazing human. But yeah. So, I hope everybody's doing fabulous. It's another glorious day here. I'm just living my best life over here, besides, you know, the busted nose, but everything else is good. So, we layered it in the cup. I'm gonna let some of that paint. Just come out. We're going to continue trying to keep these colors really bright. Or if we do have a darker color, we're layering a lighter color between them. Wow, you can just see the cells already just popping to the surface. That's crazy. All right. Well, we just used that color, my man. So let's swap it out for something else. So I am using kind of a secret ingredient. There's no secret to it, but... So I used my standard pouring medium with uh, two to one Floetrol to paint. And then I ordered some Australian Floetrol from the Fluid Art Co. at this little piggy. It's been far too long since I've gotten to play with that stuff, and I did one of these off camera, and it came out amazing. So I wanted to share that with y'all, because as you can see, the cells are just exploding without even using any heat whatsoever. And I think that's phenomenal. So yeah, I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. This is really beautiful like I don't even know if I'm gonna need to use the heat gun to get this to do what I want because it's already kind of doing it so let me let this settle just a bit take some of this paint I don't want all the edges of this to roll under Would you look at that? That's amazing. So let me try plugging in this heat gun and let's see what we can do with this. I don't think it really needs it, like I was saying, honestly. Oh wow, it's still bringing even more to the surface. That's beautiful. What 
kind of sorcery is this, y'all? Yeah, we're gonna use a dioxazine purple. Get some dark in there. Yeah, not too much. Just a little bit. So, I kind of told you the ingredient, didn't tell you how much I put in it. Uh, so, two parts Floetrol, the American Floetrol, to one part paint, and then there's no water, and then I used maybe five to six drops of Australian Floetrol, because I really didn't want to use too much. It was already, it already has an additive in it to help create cells. This Floetrol inherently helps. I know some people disagree. But from what I've experienced, it's true. But man, just the colors of this. Phenomenal. <laughs> it's crazy looking, actually. I love it. Gonna have an issue rolling under. I just don't want any more of that silicone to touch if I can help it. And this is where my spinner would come in super handy, but uh, this canvas is a uh, 14 by 14. So my cement mixing tub is just small enough to where the corners, if I spin it, they touch it and it will stop it from turning, so. That's why we're pouring on the table. And we're just gonna have a good time doing this. Man oh man. It's a great feeling just doing stuff that you love to do. Find a job that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And that's what I'm working on now. All right, I think we are good. I'm just gonna let some of this escape. Watching all that cell goodness come out. That's insane. Wipe through the center like we typically do so that we can uh, not end up with that circle swirl. And let me see, I just want to bring some of this to that corner. Look at these colors though. It looks like a, an eyeball almost. So stretch it that way and bring it back. I'm trying to tilt it as slow as I can. I really don't want to distort these cells too, too much. Kind of want to get them closer to the corners. Yeah, this stuff's doing some really wicked stuff. I might have to take this to the corner. Because it's almost like some of it's flowing differently than the rest. We're gonna have a little bit roll under, which is okay. Let me just get it off. There we go. And try to bring it all back. So I think some of my paints are a different consistency than others. Because as you see right here, it was flowing faster than the rest. I mean, you can actually watch it in real time right now. See how it's flowing faster than the rest? I think there's something slightly off with my mix. So, I mean, I still think it's really wicked with all the colors. And I'm gonna continue to stretch these paints. Yeah, the lines are starting to get a little bit distorted. 
but I think once we get a good coverage of the canvas and I take a torch to it, it'll be, I think new cells might even form out of that. Some of my paints are way thicker than the others. So this is a prime example of what happens when you have different consistencies. I mean, it, it's still cool looking. We're getting a lot of purling around the edges from that black base coat. I probably could have mixed these two just a little bit thinner. flow just a little bit. There we go, we got it off the corner. And now I'm going to try to bring that white somewhere closer to the center. Yeah, we're getting a whole lot of purling. That's when you, you can see the black base coat through the, or around, all around the edges. This is definitely an interesting composition. So, so I don't not like it. This is not at all what I thought in my head when I started. And I know why. It's because my base coat was thicker than the layers of paint on top. So that caused the paint on top to slide too fast and made the lines kind of wonky. All in all, the colors are gorgeous. I love the colors, but I need to remix. Yeah, I need to take my mix tweak it just a little bit because I mixed my base coat days before I mixed the other paints so hmm well we all have happy little accidents I think this is gorgeous but let me bring you guys down and we'll all check it out together so this is the view from where I could see it Now in the middle, it kind of looks like there's a face or like a lion's head or something. To me, that kind of looks like a face. I don't know. It's growing on me. I kind of like it. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.